you happen to have a ball of hemp wick, you can use the twig wrap method to make a really good torch that's good for lighting fires in really windy conditions or kind of rainy conditions. So I've got a stick to use as my handle stick, and I've got my other pieces of kindling to wrap up with it, and my ball of hemp wick. I'm going to start by just wrapping spaced about a quarter inch apart, and then I'm going to add the first stick, wrapped in the same manner, the second stick wrapped in the same manner. Because by wrapping each individual stick, you add layers to your torch so that it can burn off the outer layers and uh, go down to subsequent layers, and it makes a longer lasting torch that burns you with a bigger flame. And I'm going to wrap a little bit of an extra amount around the top. Pull out three feet to wrap around my fingers and create a starting uh, little nest to light it on, which I'm going to tuck right into the top of all the sticks. And that is please, Eric. should show that close up. So I've got my stick bound with the little bird's nest up top to light it. And if the wind isn't going to blow out my match here, and it did, Slide a piece away. Oh, almost had it going. So it's too windy for matches. We're going to move to one of the braids. Which lights instantly. Yeah. And we'll make this light even more instantly. And then with that bird's nest down there, you can hold it and upside down so that the flame will rise. Uh, and the wind blew us out. Braid's still going. The wind is picking up. This torch can also be used for light at night. A really good way to guide yourself through the forest. And there you have your lit torch. Will burn for a very long time, produce a lot of heat, a lot of light start a fire with it, cook a bird,